to Humanities on the Road. We are at the Midtown Scholar Bookstore in downtown Harrisburg, and we've got some wonderful performers for Can't Tell a Lie, Peach Cobbler Pie. We are delighted to have with us today Linda Goss and Papa Ed Stokes. And I'm Tracy Matasek, and I promise you that we are going to have a hand clap and foot stomp and storytelling good time in here today. It is just going to be a wonderful time. And as I've mentioned, we are at the Midtown Scholar Bookstore. It's in downtown Harrisburg, and this place is a gem. This is a new location for the bookstore. And did you know that the Midtown Scholar Bookstore has won seven awards for being the best independent bookstore, and with good reason, because when you come here, you'll see that there are more than 100,000 used and rare books. It is a bookworm's paradise and just a wonderful place to be. We are delighted to be here. And of course, we wouldn't be able to be here at all were it not for our host, Jump Street, and we actually have a special guest from Jump Street who is going to be joining us. Um, one of the many things that Jump Street does, and it's an arts organization that serves the Harrisburg area, but one of the features of Jump Street is a magazine called And Magazine, and it's written by teens for teens. It is beautifully produced, and I have with me today from Jump Street, Dana Bevilacqua, who is part of the newspaper. Hi, Dana. Hi. Tell us what you do for the newspaper. I'm a student writer for And Magazine. So it's written by students for students, and um, it's distributed around local schools. And you've got a big circulation. About I do. 20,000? Right, around all the local schools, yeah. And this is something that you're planning to pursue now when you go off to college next right. year. Right. Okay, Journalism. well, we wish you all the best, and thank you so much for being with thank us. You. And you know, And Magazine is not the only thing that Jump Street does. There are all kinds of wonderful programs. Uh, there is a music program that helps to put instruments in the hands of young students who are interested in playing. There's the Big Read, which connects people with classical literature. And, and overall, it's not just something for young people, but it really is an organization that allows people of all ages to be able to come together and to enjoy and experience and express themselves through art. So it is indeed a wonderful thing. Well, having said all that, it is my pleasure to introduce our special guest performers for today. We are thrilled to have with us Linda Goss, and Linda, of course, is a well-known storyteller and author. In fact, she is the official storyteller of Philadelphia. She is, of course, a member of the Speakers Bureau of the Pennsylvania Humanities Council. She was born in Tennessee near the Smoky Mountains, and she grew up hearing stories, hearing that oral tradition. So you might even say that it's just part of her DNA. And she is the co-founder of the National Association of Black Storytellers. We are thrilled to have with us Linda Goss. Thank you. Welcome song. Ready, Papa Ed? Ready, ready. One and a two, and a here we go. Gather around my people. Gather around my people. Gather around my people. Well, 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 well. Come on, clap. Come on, clap. Well, 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 come on. 
around my people. Well, folks, I have a story for you today, a story that was passed on to me by my granddaddy Murphy down into the sea. Now, when granddaddy Murphy got to telling a story, he would begin by asking a question. And so my question for all of you today is, have you ever been frustrated? Tell the truth now. Raise your hands. Have you ever been frustrated? Now, when we are frustrated, sometimes we're feeling sad and bad and mad, confused, all jittery. But don't give up. There is hope for us all. But we're going to have to go back, go way back to the motherland. And we're going to have to meet this little critter here we call the frog. Now, this frog gets so frustrated because he has talent. It ain't nothing wrong in having talent, but just because you got it don't mean everybody wants to see and hear it. You see, the frog wants to be a singer, poor thing. So he just stays to himself, practicing on his lily pad, jumping up and down. But you know, there's something about frustration that got to come out of you. And one day that frog gets to swelling. <laughs> And before he knew it, frustration bubbles were coming out of his eyes, coming out of his nose, coming out of his ears, coming out of his mouth. And he said to himself, you know, I got a song inside me. I want to be a singer. And so the frog decides to share his dream with his parents. He hops over to their place and he says, oh, Mama, Daddy, I want to be a singer. Mama Frog and Daddy Frog looked at their son and they said, we're so proud of you. You can do it. You can be anything you want to be. Well, when the frog heard this, this gave him confidence. Yeah. He decided to share the news with his frog friend. He hip hopped over to that place. He said, oh, fella, is he the frog? I got something. They said, good. You got some flies we can eat? No, no flies. I got talent. Say what? I want to be a singer. Fool, are you crazy? Now, you know frogs don't sing in this jungle. The birds are the singers here. Get on out of here. Oh, this made the frog feel bad. He hopped back over to his lily pad. He was feeling very frustrated again. And then he says, you know what? The birds are the singers. Maybe they'll let me join their group. So that frog gathers up his confidence. He hip hops over to their tree trunk. He knocks on their door. La, 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 la. Oh, birds, oh, birds, it's me the frog. Can I hop up? The head bird looks out the window and says, oh, yes, it's you, frog. Would you hop up and join us? The frog comes in. He sits over by the corner, kind of shy, kind of chewing on his tongue a little bit. Finally, the head bird says, oh, frog, uh, why have you come to see us? Or how may we help you? Uh, well, you see, uh, I want to be a part of your group. Hmm, part of our group? That's fine. As a matter of fact, we can use some help. Uh, you can help us carry our worms, okay? Ugh. Carry your worms? No. That's not what I had in mind. Oh, no, said the birds. Well, frog, uh, what do you have in mind? Well, you see, I want to sing with your group. <laughs> sing with us? You, you, you've got to be kidding, of course. Why, why you're green. You're ugly. You have warts all over you. Get out of here. Those birds, they go around that frog, and they tossed him from their place. That frog went rolling down the jungle path. When that frog got home, he felt so bad. I guess you can say 
That frog had the blues. Do ba do ba do. Feeling kind of blue. Down and low. Don't know where to go. Do ba do ba do. Feeling kind of blue. Down and low. Don't know where to go. But I gotta stay strong. Cause I gotta carry on. Cause this frog has got to sing his song. Did that frog not cry? That frog did not shed a tear. Instead, he got on his lily pad, and he began to practice and practice and practice and practice. And then he realized something, you know? The birds sing every Friday night at the Big Time Wicked concert, but he don't control it. Brother Fox is the manager. And so that frog got himself together. He hip-hopped over to Brother Fox's gate. La, 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 Brother Fox, Brother Fox. Brother Fox peeped out, said, oh, it's you, Fred. Where you are? Brother Fox, I want to be in a concert this Friday night. Be in the what can you do? I, I want to sing. Sing, get out of here, man. Get, get, get out of here. Oh, please, Brother Fox, please give me a chance. Hmm, said Brother Fox. You know something, Frog? Perhaps I could use you. Why don't you show up in the cock shop, okay? I'm going to put you on first. Well, when the frog heard this, he got so excited. Oh, oh, he just skipped up all the way home. And before he knew it, Monday rolled around, Tuesday rolled around, Wednesday rolled around, Thursday rolled around. And it was Friday. Ooh, wait, that frog could not be still. Oh, he was jumping up and down. Oh, he bathed all day long. Oh, he washed his little green arms, his little green fingers. He scrubbed his little green toes. Oh, he rubbed his little green face. Oh, he put some oil on his little green head. Oh, he had it really slick and shiny. And then that frog went over to that pond, and it was as though he was seeing himself for the very first time. He looked down and saw his reflection, and he said, mm, 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 I am beautiful, beautiful, and tonight I'm going to do my thing. Well, then it was 7.30, then it was 7.45, then it was 7.55, and then it was 8 o'clock, and there was that frog holding on to the edge of the curtain. He looked out and saw all those animals. He saw his mother and father sitting on the front row. And before he knew it, Brother Fox showed out to start the show. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, yes, 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 yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, we're going to start things off right. And so presenting for your entertainment tonight, the frog who thinks he's a singer. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. with the period at the end of that sentence, the elephant jumped up. <clears throat> hey, I'm not coming here no frog sing. He grabbed a banana and threw it, hit that frog right there in the head. Woo! The lion jumped up. Ah! I want no frog sing. He grabbed a pineapple and threw it, hit that frog right there in the mouth. Soon the animals were throwing all kinds of things at the frog. Tomatoes, potatoes, oranges, bananas. Boo! Get off the stage. Boo! You jive sucker. Boo! You jive turkey. Get off the stage. Boo! We want to hear you sing. That frog ran right under the stage. Brother Fox came back out. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Now presenting for your enjoyment, the birds who really can sing. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Come here, come here. Oh, the birds rush out to the stage, their heads held up high. They, they begin to chirp, tweet and whistle. <laughs> well, the animals were used to this. Oh, that's more like it, said the elephant. That's what we want to hear. And they kind of fell into a nice, Peaceful now. Everyone was sleeping, was sleeping comfortably, except who? Except for that who? Frog. Except for that frog. That frog was.